back, everybody. Sandy Check and Skillet Sauce. Uh, if you want to comment on that last uh, story we just did about uh, Grandpa sharing uh, bathing with <laughs> his granddaughter in swim trunks, uh, yes, sure. Please feel free. You can tweet us at Insanity Check 12 on Twitter, on our Facebook, Insanity Check. Uh, and of course, you can comment on our YouTube channel, Insanity Check Radio. Yeah, so, and just, just a comment, we, you know, sometimes we do get real time comments, and here's a, a comment that came in. Uh, yes, crazy Americans. And it goes on to say, you know, that, you know, uh, I won't name any names because that's how I am on the show, uh, you know, a particular son showers with his I mean a father showers with his son I don't think there's anything unnatural about that I mean if you guys could remember the courtship of Eddie's father way back in the days with Bill Bixby um, the kind of relationship that they had during that show would be completely unwholesome today completely what you want man look at this <laughs> so one of your family members ready to <laughs> so, no it's not my family it's not my family yeah 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 that's right you know it <laughs> I mean after after what age did you say enough is enough Pops? enough is enough I can't I can't, I, can't take, I can't take it no more. I'm going to school with bags yeah. under my eyes. Yeah, all yeah. sorts of stuff, right? <laughs> they just take some soap off my jaws and get under your arm. Yeah, that's right, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Going to school all messed up and everything, sitting way back in the corner looking out the window. <laughs> That's, that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Getting mad marks because I don't want to sit down in class because my booty was hurting. I mean, do, do you... Do, I mean, there has to be a cutoff point, though. Of course, man. There, there, I mean, know, that's one thing that has to be mentioned. For though. me, there has to be a cutoff point uh, no, as far no. as age. Okay, now what? Now, see, we don't have children. You do. Yes. Okay. What do you feel? I mean, as seriously as a father. Now, now, I, have you ever taken a shower or, or bathed with your daughter? No way. No. Okay. No. And you, because, and I'm pretty sure because you don't want to have to. Um, because well, I was thinking about the, the whole thing about imprinting sexuality upon a situation. You probably feel that you're going to have to explain your parts, right? Well, I, I, don't, I don't even think that's an uh, issue. Because I, I think the parts thing is kind of understood because, you know, she, she has little cousins. Oh, okay. And, you okay. know, yeah. watch kids. And plenty of times she knows the difference between male parts and female oh, okay, parts. Okay. I just think there's a certain level of appropriateness between you know making sure you respect each person's hmm. privacy because no matter no matter you know how you may feel about it as a family hmm. it's for one there's something a little off about it it just in my opinion hmm. and two if that story ever gets told somewhere like you know me and dad was talking about it when we was in the shower i see there's now there's an issue with now that. what you're saying to me to me speaks on Society, and I'm not. Now it, I'm it just definitely saying, just speaks, as it definitely far as speaks you. on on society. And now, as far as me, yeah, if, if, that, it was, let's say I, if, if it was, if society a, didn't frown upon it, I yeah. still wouldn't do it. Okay, now at, at what age did you? I mean, now you feel at no age, even when uh, your daughter's no. let's say three or four, you you still felt it was un inappropriate at that age, or because obviously like eight, nine, ten, you know, with the way media is today, yeah, still at three and, that's different. You know, still I, at three and four, three or four, you still think so? Yeah, I still, I, I still would. Oh, okay, just I mean, me, just me personally. I, so I, when I did, you, did you you bathed your daughter when she was a child, right? I of mean, course. And when did you stop doing that, or have you stopped? Um, yes, of, of course I've stopped. Uh, whenever she got the, to the age of where she can handle herself, handle herself, I would say like around maybe you know it, it starts with bathing your kid, then it goes to you know making sure the water's not too hot for him. Yeah. You understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To the point of okay, listen, now you can take a shower on your own yeah. or take a bath on your own you're good mm -hmm. so you you figure i probably washed my daughter till she was about maybe four mm -hmm. you know three or something like that yeah now i'm to the age where okay i'm starting to learn little things all right well let me just make sure the shower water is running yeah. you know at the age of five six when you're in first grade mm -hmm. you should pretty much know the basics of how oh, to, yeah yeah how now, to now, clean yourself now if society felt that even you as a male because you know, the way these people are perverting things, they could think that the mere fact that you're rubbing your daughter's back, you know, with soap Listen, and scrubbing, that that could be deemed as inappropriate. That you know, that's caressing instead of bathing. In you Corinthians, it says that uh, any man who enjoys the pleasure of doing something, he cannot be wrong. <laughs> you sound like Artie. <laughs> Yeah, that was about Artie Bowman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I was looking that was at this dude like, like, what the fuck was this guy 
talking about. <laughs> oh, come on. You're, you're that close, eh? I was yeah, that that shit. I'm looking close. at you like, are you fucking crazy? Mark's 315 says. <laughs> Yeah, the Marx Brothers, the yeah. right. But see, you know, as that's long what I'm as the water is warm, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and, and there's a saxophone playing, right? Yeah, <laughs> a sax makes it all right. As long as there's musical accompaniment, yeah. but whatever you're doing, it's not. But yeah, issue. see, see, because for me, yeah, that's why I had to, you know, I, I wanted to know just as you as a person, and you know, and I don't know how much you have been influenced by society, because in society influences all to some degree or another. But if society all of a sudden said just the mere fact that you were present and you know. A, a, you know, a, administering soap and scrubbing or whatever it is can be deemed as a sexual whatever. I mean, to me, th there has to be some understanding that, yes, as an adult, you know, uh, I, handling your child or whatever has got to be normal and natural at some yes, point. It, it definitely does, but there has to be a a cutoff point. No, no, no. <laughs> I agree. Now, I say uh, by six years old, none of that stuff should take place. But I'm thinking at three or four, I mean, male, female, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's adult, child, supervision is taking place. And Nobody's judging your situation. <laughs> <laughs> First and foremost. You don't have to fight this hard for it. <laughs> it's okay, Dre. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, um, now that we've gotten eight's situation yeah, out in the open. Right. Um, no, no, no. Dre's situation. Oh, right, right. My bad. That's what it was all about. Yeah, it was all about being that damn guitar. <laughs> I can't even look at a guitar anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this next story is one of the reasons why, you know, we're bouncing back and forth on this. Um, now, you there's, found there's, this one, right? You yeah, found I found this. this you know, so there's actually been several stories like this that yeah. we haven't even done. You know, we like should we do it? We're like, nah, fuck it. You know, it's, and it's, it was obviously it was closer to the 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 the, um, the Sandy School, yeah. blah 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 blah. But I, I don't know for some reason this one it, it's like it's getting more ridiculous. We had one actually we talked about it with the other one briefly, yeah. where uh, I was a five year old girl I think was suspended because she sprayed bubbles through with, a, a, a Hello, Hello Kitty, Kitty bubble. bubble bubble bubble. Gun like blow, thing, blow, 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 blower. Anything, yeah, bubble blower. But anything that you press a button and something comes out, you know, you, they, it's a, it's a gun today. But so yeah. Now so. this is. I mean, I don't even know. Again, I have such disgust for people that I believe this things can get worse than this. But at right now, I can't even figure out how it can be worse. But Second grader suspended over gun shaped pop tart. Pop tart. Now. And school officials confiscate his breakfast. Yeah. Now, I know, you know, you probably more than I. I know because, you know, you, you rotate your cookies and stuff when you eat and stuff mm. like that. I've, you know, eaten Pop-Tarts before back in the days. And I used to eat this nasty crap. And, you know, you might try and make it into a star or whatever. Mm -hmm. you, you, you're a kid. You're playing with your food. So, I mean, and then I'm looking at this. This doesn't, I mean, what, what kind of crude, this looks like a Simpsons gun. This doesn't even look but you, like. But you use the magic word. Gun. It, it, it's so crude. I mean, it it looks like a graph. I mean, if you stood it on the side, it. it a seven-year-old in Maryland was suspended for eating his pop tart into a vague shape of a gun. All I was trying to do was turn it into a mountain bike. It doesn't. It don't look like a mountain bike, and it turned out to be a gun. And this was from the poor kid. Um, Children at Park Elementary School went home with a letter today explaining there was a disruption in school. Seven-year-old Josh Welch and his father said the disruption led to a two-day suspension for a second grader in Brooklyn Park. Uh, no relation to Brooklyn. Uh, according, academics are hard for Josh, who suffers from ADHD, but he excels in art class. It is Josh's own creativity that may have gotten him in trouble. Uh, Josh was enjoying his breakfast pastry when he decided to try and shape it into a mountain. Uh, it was already a rectangle, and I just tried, and I just kept on biting it and biting it, and tore off the top, and it kind of looked like a gun, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. um, when his teacher saw the <laughs> strawberry tart, he knew he was in trouble. He recalls, "She was pretty mad, and I think I was in big trouble." Oh my God! Stop! Just stop right there before you go any further. Now, this teacher, who is in control of these students, who should be beaten, saw this Pop-Tart, who should be beaten, and decided to persecute this child, made, made, made a decision. This grown 
teacher made a well, decision. Apparently, an emotional decision because she was so mad at his pop tart. See, this is why this is why I say we need the asteroid. You think I'm joking, but the, 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 you're, you're basically raising these children from young to be institutionalized to a point to where their brain. If you're being put under this kind of pressure to where a child who undoubtedly, if they watch any television, any form of media, listen to songs, can comprehend some of the words, they're going to hear something that today we see as unacceptable. So if the kid goes out there and regurgitates what he or she says, uh, I mean sees or whatever, or acts it out or something like that, they're in trouble. They're in trouble. I mean, the, one of the biggest movies of last year, if not the biggest movie of last year, was in fact the Avengers. Iron Man does like this and like this to shoot stuff. That's what he does. Hawkeye does this to shoot stuff and Black Widow does like this to shoot stuff. So if the kids went to see that movie accompanied by their pa parents, right, you know, an, an, a guardian and went and reenacted a single action sequence from that film, they could get suspended from school. You be, you, hey Sally, you be Black Widow and I'll be yo, the bad guy. And, and then Sally does like this, oh that's it. She picks up a twig, that's it. So I mean, you think we're exaggerating a lot of times when we go off on this is a bunch of mind controlled madness that's being blown out of proportion. The whole Sandy Hook thing, I'm, not, I'm never touching that story again, you know, because I'm just not. But I knew that these types of things were going to cascade and cascade and cascade until it became ridiculous, until it became absurd. That's the word. It's absurd. So before I go off on you know, what I exaggerate on, which I'm not exaggerating, um, late Friday afternoon, a letter was sent home with students explaining the incident, saying a student used food to make an inappropriate gesture. But Josh's dad is not happy, saying, I would almost call it insanity. I would call it insanity. You know what, can But you? actually, insanity, I, nah, I like stupidity better because, yeah, because stupidity, you can, I feel better about physically abusing people because they're stupid. Um, insanity, you might not be able to help that. Could be a chemical thing, whatever, but these people need to be hurt now. Um, I mean, with all the potential issues that could be dealt with at a school, real threats, bullies, whatever the real issue is, it's a pastry. I guess, so, you, know, you know, she's going to shoot, he was going to shoot some sugar or something. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I, so, so, okay, so, you, you, you've seen me on this show before calling, you know, for the death of the pigs, okay? The criminal pigs, the, 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 the cops that, that steal, that execute, that perform all types of Illegal racist acts, etc., etc., etc. Shooting people in the back when they're handcuffed, face down on their stomach. Uh, you know, um, torturing people after you know you pull over the wrong person. It, all that type of shit. Now, Crips, Bloods, M13s, Latin Kings. You have new targets. Go to these stories, <laughs> find these teachers and their principals, and cut their fucking legs off, break their backs. Concussions. Don't kill them because they have to be conscious and fully cognizant of why they are now disabled. But not in front of the kids, though. Not in front of the oh, kids. Yeah, you don't want to harm the kids. Don't want to, no. Tell the kids to go the away. Kids are the innocent ones in this. Yeah. Tell okay. them to go away. Hurt these people badly because apparently they don't know what they're doing. And worst of all, they're in charge of children. Yeah. This type of stupidity is allowed to go on. Your children are in the hands of fucking morons. But, but, but it's all under auspices of protecting the children. See, that's why I say that this is just a professional cycle of nonsense because everything that they say they're doing is to protect the weirdo kids, yet you're doing things to where these kids cannot even emote like normal children. They can't play like normal children. The whole thing about being a child is when you do something inappropriate, a grown-up is supposed to be able to see that and put it into the proper context or what have you. You know, if you see a movie where there may be some gun violence or whatever happening, you're supposed to be there with a parent or somebody that can explain to you, okay, that's Hollywood, that's fake, they're not really dying, or sometimes good people and bad people get together and this is what has to happen. You, you have dialogue, but you don't repress the stuff to the point to where, how are these kids supposed to function? I mean, I'm just thinking, you know, stuff we did in school, you know, the amount of terrible shit we said to one another growing up in school. I mean, I mean, th I mean throwing, you know, you know, the little cartons of milk at each other. I, I remember, you know, like, I don't know if you, you had this, this thing. I had a toy 
uh, that shot these little like uh, flying discs. Mm-hmm. And uh, wait a second, basically you and your brother had like the fucking M fifties, M fifties of toys. You had those 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 racer shits, right? Where you put the Spider Man in it and and, and mm-hmm. the Captain America, and you shoot it. This thing was shaped like a gun, but it shot. Uh, um, Cars and the car they had a Captain America car, a Spider Man car. What was what was the name of that shit again? It, it, was, it wasn't grow up and fucking shoot and kill people. No, it, but it was a big giant white gun that it, and the nose was curved and you put it down on the floor and you loaded the you literally loaded the car in there like a projectile like a like a, gu- a bullet and you shot it and it would race across the floor and it came with like little barrels and shit right. You'd realize they couldn't even sell that today, okay. even though it shot cars that rolled across the floor. It was a, See, it was it was gun shaped. This is what I keep telling you, people. You want to protect five people a year at the expense of five million every year, okay? Shit doesn't work like that. You know, you ever heard of the law of nature, survival of the fittest, thinning the herd, let nature take its course? You know, if you're too stupid to fucking exist in this society, then goodbye. Goodbye. We don't need you here. You are a detriment to progress. Too stupid, too weak. To everything. I mean, because this is this is insulting. I, I would probably send my fucking son back to school with a bazooka. Nah. A big cardboard bazooka <laughs> would suck my dick written on the side of this shit. Now, now, when we go up to the parents, teachers, and so this is I yes, I put my son up to it. Because you're an idiot. You're a complete a pop tart cu- that is so stupid. I mean, imagine a Chico stick. You grab a Chico stick, or, or for, you know, for you people that don't understand, I don't oh, know if they be, had that be elsewhere. Mexicans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. Oh, yeah. Basically, you couldn't even call it a Chico stick anymore because it, they they were saying right. some racist shit. You know, or remember the long pretzel shits? Mm-hmm. If I bring that to fucking school and I act like I'm what doing the fucking magic wand from Harry Potter, the gesture of me expelliarmus doing whatever, I'm gonna, you know, the kid is gonna go, go get suspended. Yeah, that's probably why they were fucking, you know, drowning seven year olds back in the witchcraft, the witch days. I mean, but. but Seriously, as ridiculous as that sounds, think of it. If a kid had a long pretzel and said expelliarmus and did like that, they could suspend the child for making an inappropriate gesture yeah. with a pretzel stick. And that sounds preposterous, but it is today's reality because of this overreaching, overreacting nonsense. I cannot believe other places in the world are behaving like this. I just, I just, I should just blow us up. I, yeah. Here's literally. my inappropriate gesture. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. We're trying to make it, baby. 